Hi YouTube, Bullhorn Betty here. So there was some breaking information. I'm not sure breaking, but definitely new information uh, that came out today on JLR's channel about Don Wells' prior wife, Pamela Ann Wells. Is that why he left Pamela and went to Candace? Where his cycle of abuse now began. We know he was abusive, but where did the SA abuse come from? That's what I'd like to know. I also dug in a little deeper on Pamela Wells. And many of you guys know, if you've been with me for a while, I talk about almost the spiraling effect of events that happen uh, right before something big happens. And this is no different. Uh, with Pamela, I found a lot of information that was, that kind of paints a picture. For example, so on August 7th, 24th, 2007, Pamela received an order, a temporary order of protection, a temporary order of protection. Then there was a case, this is the same exact case right here, where there was an order of transfer. For whatever reason, I can't find another temporary order of protection or another case between Pamela Wells and Don Wells specifically. I could have missed it, but I could not find it. There's this document right here, which is what is causing me confusion and why. I'm raising this. So order of transfer. Now on this fourth day of September 2007, the court finds that there was previously, this was previously before Honor, Honorable Stacy Zimmerman, which, which was involved with a similar factual allegations and parties. And in keeping with the policy of judges of the Fourth Judicial Circuit that once a judge presides over a case involving the same or similar parties and or same subject matter, that judge, for the purpose of judicial economy, should hear all subsequent or related cases and therefore this is hereby ordered to transfer to this judge. That means that there must have been some other activity that went on prior to this 2007 action for the temporary protection order because a, a judge on the same file moved this case over to another judge because these two parties were already before this other judge. Unfortunately, I am unable to find that case, but it appears that there is a case. And also, a JLR had brought up the unlawful uh, substance possession in which Pamela was arrested for. Right before this arrest, her arrest was uh, September, I believe, no, October 2017. And right before the arrest, in August 22nd, 2017, she was evicted from her property. So she was evicted for her, from her property for non-payment, and her rent was only $200 a month. She was evicted. And within three, two to three months, she was arrested at the age of 66 years old. with possession of drug paraphernalia, possession of controlled substance schedule four. So these are misdemeanors except the possession of drug paraphernalia, which is a class D felony, which came shortly after her eviction, which I presume, which I presume is the reason why she was evicted. So there you have it, folks. You know, was Donald Wesley Wells abused as a young child by an older woman?
Let me know your thoughts, comments. I'm interested in your feedback. If this video was uh, informative for you, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And again, share this video to your friends if they are following the Summer Wells case. Thank you guys and God bless.